Hi, I'm Tony from Zeiss with today's lens close-up. Today it's the Bodice 40mm close focus lens for Sony Alpha series cameras. This is a fantastic lens, great for your kit, it's a nice all-rounder. It's close focus with the ability of being as not close as 9 inches to your subject matter. It's also terrific when you're out on the street, it'll give you a natural look to your photography and it also has a super fast autofocus, great for keeping up with Sony burst mode. It's also terrific if you're out there taking landscape photography as well, as you're going to get that fantastic fantastic Zeiss look. It's the Bodice Close Focus 40mm lens from Zeiss, and that's today's Lens Close-Up. This is Zeiss Presents Full Exposure, the weekly resource for news, trends, and the people who influence the world of photography and cinematography. Hosted by veteran photographer and filmmaker Jim Camp. Trish Clark is the regional producer in Connecticut for the 48-Hour Film Project, an international yearly timed competition, the longest running of its kind, that pits local aspiring film and video makers to a test of speed filmmaking. A breakneck pace two days of developing a concept, shooting, editing, and delivering their short film. The head-spinning race culminates in a panel of judges determining the finalists to advance to a national festival. First, here's an intro promo of what's in store for this year's competitors. Oh, hello. So what are you doing this weekend? Staying home? Watching a movie? Ever thought about making a movie? Welcome to the 48-Hour Film Project, where you and a group of friends, or even random strangers, hello, will have 48 hours to make a movie. I know, the title kind of speaks for itself, but you'll get over it. You're in the show. Here's how it works. You're given a character, one prop, and a line of dialogue. Then you choose your genre from a hat. Remember, all four elements must be in your four to seven minute movie. Other than that, you're good to go. Experimental snuff. Good luck with that one. First, you write the movie. It's up to you how it gets done. But remember, behind every great movie is a great script. Shoot for that. Not that. Uh -uh. Every great script needs a great cast. Look for those diamonds in the rough. No wire hangers ever! Very rough. Now it's off to shoot your mini opus, where your cast and crew will suffer the elements for the love of their craft. Yay, it's cold! Ooh, mini donuts. Yeah. You have got to be kidding me! Action! I don't care if there's a hurricane! Marry me! Yes! I love you! I'm pretty sure we're gonna die! Oh. Not today! To the editing room where you splice, paste, and render to your heart's content. Don't look at me. Don't forget to add music. Hit it. Enough. Enough. Once you finish your movie, the only thing left is to hand it in. Nice job. Remember, you only have 48 hours to complete this, so don't be late. Thanks a great coaster, buddy. The hard part is done. It's time to celebrate with your friends and fellow 48-hour film participants as you screen all the entries at your local movie theater. This is the 48-hour film project. The 48-hour film project is the longest running timed film competition in the world. And it's been around for close to 20 years now. Started in D.C. with uh, two friends, Mark Rupert and Liz Langston, uh, were the executive directors kind of of the whole project. And they were just looking for something fun to do with their friends over the weekend. And so they decided to make a short film. And it kind of spawned from that that they then made it a competition in D.C. That's where they're based out of. And then it's graduated into more cities throughout the years. And uh, it's in close to 130 cities now worldwide. So there are definitely international cities that have it as well. And now um, Liz has uh, actually just the last month or so stepped down, but Mark is still in charge of everything and um, bases it out of DC, as I like to call 48 HQ, which is about five people in mm -hmm. the headquarters that mm -hmm. kind of keep everything running internationally. How did it blossom into so many 
I, you know, I think they just realized that this is something fun that a lot of people want to take part in. And they, um, it's funny how I got involved in it is a friend of mine did it in Cleveland as an actor. And he knew that I had moved back to Connecticut and was a little frustrated with the lack of production work here. And I mean, I was also a, a new mother, so I had a little baby, so I wasn't going out and doing a lot of production work anyways. And um, he's like, well, you, you should do this. This sounds up your alley. He knew I had the production background. And uh, so I looked into it and I went on the website and just signed up for the newsletter. And coincidentally, the first newsletter I got said, we're looking to expand in different cities. And they listed a few cities and one of them was Hartford. And so I responded to the, you know, I said, respond to this email, what have you. So I responded to the email. I said, I think that's a typo. I think you meant New Haven. And uh, they interviewed me and hired me. And I convinced them that New Haven is the arts capital oh, of Connecticut. Right? Yeah. Is that right? And um, they like my background in production and background in event planning, which is really what the city producer of the 40 has to do. And they're like, well, you have both those in spades and... Yes, New Haven sounds like a better fit than Hartford. I was like, yes, yes, it does. Talk a little bit about what it's like to put something that sounds, it sounds totally frenetic, making a film <laughs> in 48 hours, start to finish. Yeah. I mean, the, people can do some pre production. They can, a they, little can bit. they can yeah. cast, they can get crew and mm -hmm. so forth. But they, they should line up everything. They line beforehand. up everything. But, yeah. but conceptually, no. They right. have to, they have, they get the concept mm -hmm. by surprise, basically, in the, on, was it a Friday, I guess? Yeah. Well, so the the thing yeah. about the 48 is there's a, a kickoff and drop off event. So the kickoff is the Friday night event and you have to have at least one team member present at the kickoff and drop off. And so at the at the kickoff on Friday night, they have to hand in one, the first piece of paperwork that says they have agreed to to take part in the 48. And that's where they pick their film genre. So usually we say you pick a film genre out of the hat. Um, I've done film genre bingo and I have something else lined up for this year which I am not announcing yet um, but so it's a fun way to get your genre and now you get two so you oh. could get um, you know a so you mean you pick you can pick one or the no, other no 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 it's oh. by it's random draw so but you get let's say you get comedy or sci-fi so those are the two that you've drawn you have to do one of them and so you, you know there's no changing you just have to choose one of those two but that you, you have know, randomly you been selected. You don't know selected. what your prop's going to be, you don't know right. what your and line so is going to be. Right. And so on on Friday night we give the specific character prop and line of dialogue. And so those are in all films. So, you know, we have in the 30ish to 40ish range of teams like right now as of an hour ago or right before I checked before we got on we had 20 teams signed up. Um so we'll, you know, we'll get more before then, but all the teams have that same character proper line of dialogue. And there's always a male or female version, so you you don't have to have both, but you do have to have someone with that name has to be on on camera. And um, you have to say the line verbatim. If you happen to have drawn silent film, you can write it, but you have to write it verbatim. Um, ironically, the best use of line has gone to the silent film many times, which <laughs> it's very Wait, funny. I'm trying to process that. Yeah. That's funny. It's good. It's good. I didn't, way to do I didn't realize there was a silent film category. That is one of the categories. Oh, yeah. So cool. we have the categories are listed on the website. They do change um, year to year. There are some that are kind of always there. Like there's always going to be romance. There's always going to be comedy. But, um, you know, mockumentary is is my favorite 48 genre. And that wasn't there last year, but it's there this year. Came back. Well, that's cool. Yeah. So the next. Uh the next spinal tap could be uh, could be on the horizon. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, last year someone picked comedy, and they if you have any problems over the weekend, you call the forty eight hour hotline, which happens to be my cell phone, <laughs> and I answer it say forty eight hour hotline, which makes everyone laugh who happens to be around me when I answer the phone. <laughs> um, but their question was like, they said, "Well, we we drew comedy. Can we do a mockumentary?" And my answer was, "Not only can you, I encourage you to do so." <laughs> And they made a short film about what if there was no more pizza in New Haven. <laughs> Absolute chaos has struck the city of New Haven as citizens are flooding the streets in pure rage, demanding... Pepe's, Sally's, Modern, Little Caesars, all have shut their doors. What has happened to our city? We are witnessing the collapse of humanity itself. It's been 30 days since our pizza has disappeared in New Haven. Former mayor Tony Pepperoni has gone missing, and New Haven is in chaos. 
As a citizen, I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. Me, Grace Broha. So, where did the pizza go? I have no idea what's going on. I came in, we got no sauce, we got no pepperoni, we got no cheese, I can't make pizzas. People are calling, going crazy, I don't know what to tell them. So why would anybody be crazy enough to want to make a film in 48 hours? <laughs> they, they do call us the, the wacky and wild weekend of <laughs> filmmaking. I think they just like the W's and the alliteration. Um, I think it's a great experience for some people to get back to the craft that they love to do. Sometimes people are stuck, uh, you know, in your routine, mundane day to day job and they want to do a quick production. And you can do this and, you know, it's not a huge time commitment. You're 48 hours, two days, and then it's up on the big screen. Hmm. So it's, you know, it's nice, <laughs> gratifying fulfillment <laughs> right after, you know, shortly thereafter you've done it. And, um, you know, sometimes people also, they may do this all the time and they just want to do something really spontaneous and fun. Mm. And so that will get them this. And you can do something with the film afterwards if you want to, you know, add some production work to it later, submit it to other festivals. So, you know, it's a nice calling card. Mm. So um, walk me through a little bit of the TikTok of, uh, so you, you basically kick off well, you sign up. The sign up is you uh, can sign up at any time. So this any time prior to the mm -hmm. to the start. Yeah. So actually, right now we're in our early bird registration, and then uh, starting July second, the price goes up for regular registration for so two weeks. We're recording this on July first, two thousand nineteen. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you start. Uh, when is the when is the dead the dead dead deadline? For the the drop dead deadline to enter would be July twenty sixth. Thank you. Right drop before. dead deadline. That's yeah, what I meant. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Not the dead dead. That's that's yeah, more of a zombie. That would be the zombie deadline. Yeah, we don't. Have <laughs> no zombie films. But um, yeah, only if you get horror. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So I mean, you can sign up at the kickoff mm -hmm. if you have cash and you want to sign up right then. But otherwise, just go to the website at any point. And really, okay. I think the website you can go up to right up to about an hour before. No, well, you might in case we forget. Why don't you give the URL now? Uh, the website is very easy. www.48hourfilm.com backslash New Haven gets you specifically to the New Haven page. I think it's forward slash. It's a slash. Hmm. Might not. They might not get any place with a backslash. I don't know. But anyway, mm -hmm. uh, so they sign up mm -hmm. and and what's literally, so the production, obviously they have 48 hours to produce yep. it and turn it in. It has yep. to be turned in at, at by seven thirty on Sunday night. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you know, we give uh, that's an extra half hour Whoa, right look there. Look at that. Yeah. How generous. So of you. <laughs> generous. Yeah. But so yeah, teams have to write it, mm -hmm. then shoot it, score it, edit it, everything. Location manage. Mm -hmm. uh, and have permissions, clearances. We all have that stuff. all our paperwork on the website. So you have to have that printed out and Everything ready to go. Ready to go. Uh, so there's, you know, if you're in a location, we need the clearances to prove that you can be there. Okay. So once they're in, mm -hmm. once the, the film's handed in and yep. that little buffer that you have when it can be turned in, then what happens? Uh, then I take all the films and I go to my editing sponsor, R Media in Danbury, and we edit the films together for screening. And so that's because we can't, no one can sit there and watch all the films in one fell swoop. It's just kind of draining <laughs> to probably sure, watch all of sure. them at once. So we do, we screen them in kind of like two hour blocks of 10 to 15 films oh, is there at a time. A, oh, I should ask, is there a time cap on them? I mean, are they, are they capped Yes, they down have around? to be a four to seven minutes. So they can't go over seven minutes. They can go to an eighth minute, but that minute you know, between seven and eight can only be credits or, you know, it maybe it could be bloopers or some other things, but it can't. It can't finish the film and it can't have any of the required elements in it. Okay. So then, um, so, but the, the films have to be cut. Yes. By, by Sunday. So you, mm -hmm. you post them at the, your edit and you, house. And you can't just hand me a laptop. You have to hand it, hand me the drive with it already finished. Okay. Up. And then you, you assemble them for, for judging. Is that what you do? No, we assemble them for the screenings. Mm -hmm. So we're screening this year. We're going to be at the Strand Theater in Seymour. Mm -hmm. And sorry, I just kicked you. Okay. Um, but so, and again, we do in like screen groups, A, B, C, and D. Um, and then um, we do give the films, I give links of, to the films to the judges because not all the judges can make it to the films. 
sometimes they're out of state or, you know, whatever. And I also feel that if you're really judging and critiquing the film, you may need to see it more than once, you know, like you may not remember the character's name or, mm-hmm. you know, sp- sure. specific thing. Sure. And we, we don't have just like, oh, best film. Like, no, we have all the categories. So you have to go back and kind of like think about. How many where, categories do you have? About 25. Wow. I mean, the same ones like best actor, best actress, cinematography, uh, cinematography stuff, yep. editing. Um, we do best ensemble cast as well. And then we have, you know, best use of 48 line character prop, mm. best use of genre. We mm. throw in our 48 wow. awards. So, so this is happening not all at the same time, but this is happening around the country and in different there in different cities um, overseas as well. Yes. Um, so then, then the culmination is pretty interesting too, because mm, mm-hmm. uh, there's a, there's a, a competition to see who makes it to the final festival. Yeah. So we call that film a palooza. Mm-hmm. So every city winner, what part of you, if you are the best film in the city, then you go on to represent that city in film a palooza, which is all the 48 cities winners competing against each other for the same thing, all the big categories again. And um, it, it varies. It's been in different places. It's been in Hollywood. It's been in New Orleans. Hmm. Um, it's been in Paris. And so this, this past year it was in Orlando. Uh, in, at Disney, and this year coming up, it's going to be in Rotterdam. And then winners from that are shown at Con. So from from there, about ten or twelve films go on to screen at Can. Hmm. Yeah, and so two New Haven winners have gotten that honor and distinction. Oh, wow, that's fabulous! Mm-hmm. That's terrific. So and there and there are people. It's it's open to everyone. It's open it's to open professionals, to mm-hmm. uh, students, emerging filmmakers. Yep. There's no age limit or requirement. You just have to want to do it and sign up. What's the team. youngest? The you the have. youngest New Haven actually has the youngest team leader of any 48 city ever. We had a 10 year old actress Abigail who is on Jolly Bunny Films, and. Um, she started her she started being and won the best youth actor when she was like four or five like you know she's been in several 48s over the years and then you know at the awards night her mother said abigail wants to run a team next year i said okay we've got a year to do it let's get her a team and that's yeah. a, you know so because she she's a sag actress so she you know new crew locally mm-hmm. and um so, fantastic so, film. And so this is going to be her third year leading a so, team. Oh, so she led the team. She didn't just perform. Correct. Wow. She she is the writer, director. She's in charge. She's not behind the camera, but she's telling the cameraman what to That's do. That's fabulous. That's terrific. Yeah. So that girl is going places. So what do you um what do you think that um you know, we we have a, obviously a special interest in in emerging talent and so forth. What do you think that um young filmmakers get out of this particular type of competition? Obviously, there's the pressure to deliver something on mm-hmm. a deadline. Yeah. Whereas a lot of films, you know, you get... You, you, could last they, years. They could last years. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've had people on here that have done, um, you know, uh, was it Victoria? I think it was Victoria. She's a Connecticut a filmmaker. She mm-hmm. did a she did a, a film that was very personal, uh, semi-autobiographical film mm-hmm. about her her father dealing with her father had a stroke, and uh, Robert Vaughn was it was his last film, mm-hmm. and um, it took her easily six years, I think, or maybe more, yeah, to put that together. So, what is that? What do you think is the balance of that of having to do something in two days, basically? Well, I mean, it's they're they're very different animals you know and i think if you're taking part in the 48 you learn to embrace the timed film competition and you don't have the luxury of well i'll do it again next week or i can't get that shot or weather isn't comp you know working with Mm -hmm. us today Mm -hmm. we'll we'll just shoot this again tomorrow no you gotta you have to come up with solutions you have to come up with them quickly you have to figure things out and come up with a finished product. Like we had a couple years ago, we had a team that they were posting, we got this done, boom, bing, bang, boom. They were all set. The, one o'clock on Saturday, they're like, we're done, we're editing. We don't know what all your other teams are doing. Two hours later, I got a call from them too. Um, we don't have any footage, it, you know, it got lost and we're gonna drop out. Two people from that crew said, well, we're gonna take over the team instead. 
finish huh. something and handed it in on time. Was it the best film? No. Is it one of my favorite 48s? Absolutely. It is so funny. What's, and they finished it. What's, in, it, what's it called? That's, um, which, what is that one? That's if you can remember or you can tell me later. We can, uh, if that we can get was, a clip from it because that would be fun to... It's, to uh, see some of that. <laughs> the power of beer. <laughs> the, power, the power of beer. Yes. The power of beer. Okay, that that I, yeah. I, I detect a theme emerging here. <laughs> Pizza chaos. Um, well, slice you, of chaos. You got you got to have fun with your forty eight. <laughs> I think that's a big well, part. I, of I it. think that's one of the things that I took from reading a lot before mm -hmm. um, we met was uh, um, to have fun with it. You know, that I, it's, that's that's really the big crux of it. Like, have fun with your forty-eight, and you, you know, if you're really planning it well, you will pick people that you like to work with, or you'll use it as a testing ground to find out if you can work with these people and if you might want to work with them mm. again, maybe on a bigger project, or you know, or the next year. Like, we have a lot of teams that do this year after year, so they've got like kind of some core people, but you know, they may. There's always people that are looking to join a team, so why not give somebody a chance? You'll find out really quickly if you can work with them or not. It sounds like it's, it just came to me. You might hate this analogy. Maybe. What is it? The chopped of filmmaking. <laughs> <laughs> well, You've only got 30 minutes yeah. for each dish. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you do, uh, it is definitely timing is everything for the 48. Uh, who who came up with the with, were the rules initially? Because there's very detailed rules about mm -hmm. what you can and cannot do, and uh, the, the first city rule, like if it's the first time that the, the film is in a, a city, that it's got to show part of the city, yeah. right? There's there are very specific rules as far as what you can and can't do, the rights clearances yeah. and so on. Yeah, well, there's and it's it's funny. That's always a big question that the forty eighters have. They're like, well, so what's this? What's that? Like everything's on the website. I. I can, my answer is usually going to be me going to the website and cutting and pasting and giving it back to you. The neat thing is, one thing I like is that it seems like you can shoot it in whatever format you want. There is yep. no, there is no, you can shoot it on a DSLR, you yep. can shoot it on a RED, it doesn't matter. You can shoot it on your cell phone if yeah. you want. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's up to the team what equipment they have access to and can use. And yeah, I mean, people have shot it on RED. They've, you know rented it or they may have it from their day job or whatever mm -hmm. and that's fine but um some people can just use their cell phones too hmm. you know so it's it's all up to you how much you put into it and and how much you get out of it probably too i mean you had said something about uh emerging <clears throat> you know filmmakers and so we do get uh i think a, a fair number of film students that this is a great way for them to do something more than just the classroom projects, something they can have a little more leeway and fun with. And um, sometimes it might be a theme that then they take it and do another production with. And so a couple of years ago, one of our filmmakers um, did, didn't did submit the 48 that they had done, but they did something that was very similar themes, same actors, and they submitted to Sundance and they became a Sundance fellow that year. Is that right? Wow. Mm -hmm. And then left this area and moved out to California. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, I think that's kind of a uh, par for the course. Or moved to New York. Yeah. Speaking of crazy production world, you're about ready to launch in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. um, do you get enough sleep during that 48 hours? You know, it's funny. People, like the teams, when they bring me their films on Sunday, they're like, oh, Trish, we're so tired. We're going to go home and sleep. And I was like, oh, two days? <laughs> Boo hoo. I, like I haven't slept for like two. I don't sleep for two or three weeks while, you know, leading up to it and then editing because once they hand in the films, I go to the edit for two days mm. and then I'm at the screening. So, yeah, I don't get much sleep. I think one of the in, in closing, I think one of the uh, perennial problems of all uh, emerging filmmakers, you know, of, of any stripe is where can people see their films? Mm -hmm. So where can people see the results of the 48 hour film project? Well, for New Haven, we're going to have the premiere screenings at the Strand on the 31st of July. And depending on how many teams, possibly August 1st, we're going to have the best of an awards night at the Bijou in Bridgeport on August 23rd. And if you go on the website, you can, and actually just like the whole main website, 48hourfilm.com, and click on any city. Each city has their own page and they'll have three or four films right there. Right. But another way to see it is like, 
look up 48 hour film project on youtube you'll find them or vimeo because people can post them on their own once it's had its premiere Mm -hmm. the team can post it wherever they want submit it to other festivals or you know do whatever they want do do people from this get any i mean they're shorts so Mm -hmm. vod is not so as popular in 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 shorts but can uh are there venues for a vod for people to see um, I, it, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of mm-hmm. up to each team where they want to distribute it or how, mm. or if at all. Um, usually the, the week after you can see them all on Facebook <laughs> or, you know, on YouTube. Um, some people have their own channels, but there's not like a set spot. Do you give, do you give any, any kind of help to them for, for distribution or? We don't know. Mm. We don't have our own distribution channel. And it's funny because now that the 48 is close to 20 years and, uh, and we don't, you know, they show some city winners on, on the page, but there's not, there's a ton of backlog and there's all these short films that hmm. could be streaming somewhere. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's maybe a topic for mm-hmm. another show after everything is wrapped up. Yeah, absolutely. We'd like to see some of the, um, some of the finalists. Mm-hmm. If you would come back and show us, we'd love that. We, we've got some great films to show. Great. And and we will have more great films to show after this year, I'm sure. Terrific. Well, thank you for coming in, Trish, and being so patient with me and <laughs> actually getting you in here. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Months later. <laughs> Thanks again. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Good luck with the project this, thank this you. coming end of month. Yeah. You'll have to come to the screenings and see what everything turns out. I would to love be. to. Thanks for tuning in. Join us next time for another edition of Zeiss Full Exposure. If you can't watch, you can always catch the audio-only version on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you get your favorite podcasts. Follow us on Instagram at Zeiss underscore Full Exposure or on the web at ZeissFullExposure.com. And to learn more about the latest in Zeiss lenses, head to Zeiss.com.